In this exciting video, you're gonna learn how to take NPCs and put any character on them you want. Anything in the world you can think of that's humanoid, we're gonna bring in and you can kill it or it can be your friend. Here we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go find some cool characters and then we're going to download them, import them into UEFN and then do some bone mapping, convert them into an NPC and then we're gonna shoot them and eliminate them. First things first is you gotta find your models. So you can of course go here to fab, fab.com, and you can look for 3D models. Uh, you can scroll down on here, like for instance, these characters here. Um, basically anything with an epic skeleton is gonna work really well because that's what we're working with. So a lot of these uh, game characters are ready to go out of the box. And you wanna look for, uh, as you're going through these packages here, you wanna look for this right here where the person typed in rigged with an epic skeleton. That's gonna make our life way easier. You can do it with any skeleton, but you gotta make your life easier. Otherwise you're gonna have uh, problems, have to do more work. So here on fab.com, you know, you can go to 3D models. You can look for characters and creatures. And also you need humanoid because we're, we're gonna be replacing the guards, you know, that are in Fortnite. So we get all of their functionality without having to do any extra work. Uh, and then uh, lastly, you can go to Mixamo here for some free characters as well too and download these and we're gonna we're gonna do that as well too in this video. We're gonna cover Mixamo. So uh, what I have done is I found a skeleton that I really like here on fab.com and I've already imported. So I downloaded it from fab and I dragged it into the project here and I'll show you this skeleton here. And my skeleton guard, my skeletal mesh and he's got lots of different pieces here but what I'm looking for is just the skeleton himself because well, we got this little dungeon here and uh, you know, a dungeon needs a skeleton. So as you can see, this is just a skeleton, okay? And he has bones, not the bones you see here, but bones in the 3D software, okay? Uh, inside of the skeleton here. And uh, this is what we're gonna map over first. We're gonna keep it relatively simple and then we'll put this into an actual uh, NPC. So first thing first is what I wanna do is I'm gonna write a new folder here at my top level. Okay, new folder, and we're gonna call this, uh, you know, enemy skeleton. Drag this right here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go, we're gonna right click here in my new folder. You can do this anywhere you want. And we're gonna go to animation. We're gonna go to retargeting and an IK rig. We gotta set up an IK rig for our skeleton. So I'm gonna call this IK skelly. Double click to open it up, like so. And I'm gonna pick my skeleton from the list here. SKM skeleton guard body, okay? There's my cool looking skeleton. Now, with the epic skeleton, their arms are typically down to like that, you know, partially down, not to the sides, but over here. Other apps, like the arms are like out fully. Uh, and uh, that makes a difference because the, the epic skeletons are like this. Uh, so this is gonna make it really easy. So all I'm going to do here, all I'm gonna do in this file here is click auto create retarget chains. And you notice on the right hand side, what it's done is it's created like a chain of bones more or less for the actual bones in the skeleton and it's mapped them here. So then we can actually map them over to uh, the Fortnite uh, skeleton. So that's it for this. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is create a animation retargeting IK rig. We're gonna call this IK Manny for the uh, Fortnite uh, mannequin. Okay, so I'm gonna double click this. And right here on the right hand side, I'm gonna click that and you're gonna click this FN mannequin. Okay, like so. See how the arms are about the same direction as before? And click the auto create retarget chains again. Okay, 100% accurate it says at the bottom right here. So I'm gonna save this and close out. Part three. Now we need to actually map those two skeletons together because what we want to have happen is we want when the guard characters in Fortnite, you know, shoot a gun or slice a sword or, or run, we want to just map those animations onto this skeleton. So all we're doing is really stilling their animations so we don't have to do any extra work. So we can just work in our game. So right click again a third time, animation, retargeting, and this time the blue one, IK retargeter. And we're going to call this IK uh, and I'm gonna say Manny to Skelly, like going from the mannequin to the skeleton. Double click that. Now over here on the right hand side where it says source, that's gonna be the Fortnite model. So this is gonna be IK Manny. See how these two items that we created are, are visible now? 
We're gonna take his IK rig, like so, and then we're just gonna grab on the second one here, the target, our skeleton rig. And as you can see, they're mostly matched up here. You will see an error here. IK retargeter has target bone chain, left arm that references an IK goal, left hand that is not present any of the solvers. So there is a, an error. Uh, we'll see what it looks like when we run it to see how, if how good it looks or how bad it looks. And uh, that's gonna be it for the skeleton. Now, how do we actually get this as an NPC? Well, let's create some more files. So first thing we're gonna do is let's create a blueprint. So right click and blueprint class and click actor, select. And we're gonna call this Skelly BP. And this is required for the NPC uh, spawner. So I'm gonna open this up here and you're just gonna see something that looks like this. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab the, the skeleton itself uh, and drag it into here. So I gotta go back to my skeleton guard folder. I'm gonna search for my skeletal mesh and the actual skeleton, I'm just gonna drag into this, this project over here or this, this window. And then where it says default scene, I'm just gonna drag it on top here. The skeleton needs to be at the highest level, okay? Uh, so this blueprint is what's gonna be spawned at runtime. I'm gonna compile and save. And that's all you need to do here. Okay, so there's our skeleton. And uh, let's go back into my enemy skeleton folder. Now what I'm gonna do is right click and go to artificial intelligence this time and NPC character definition. And I'm gonna call this NPC Skelly. And double click that. Now, what we're going to do is change the type to a guard. I want it to have all the behaviors of the guards, you know, attacking, shooting, running, jumping, zip lines. Like, I, I, that's what I want. Default behavior is fine. We're not writing any custom code for this. Uh, this is just about getting characters over. And here's the key thing right here is where it says cosmetics. Instead of a Fortnite character on the cosmetic modifier, we're going to say custom character. Character blueprint, we've created that already, is gonna be our Skelly BP. And yes, we wanna retarget from a Fortnite character. So what's the IK retargeter? It's the one that we created. All right, we'll add one more item on here. I click the plus sign right here. And this one is going to be a inventory modifier. And I'd like to give these skeletons a sword. So I'm gonna click plus on inventory and items. And let's see if I can find a sword. Basic sword, perfect, save. I mean, and really that's kind of it. Uh, let's go to our devices and type in NPC. We want the NPC spawner. We can delete the skeleton from the scene here. There's our spawner. He's looking the wrong way, so I'm gonna press E to rotate. I'm gonna turn on my rotate snap. And now he's facing forward, excellent. And then on the bottom right, okay, this is where we change some of those settings. So for the NPC character definition, Simply click that and select NPC Skelly. And there's our skeleton. And all these other things here, we'll just leave as is for now. And we're just gonna save it and push changes to run the game and see what happens. Okay, we got our gun. Here's our skeleton. You can see the sword's a little bit off. And also when I shoot him, it's not working. And that's because we didn't put him on the pro appropriate team to attack us. Uh, but you notice that the, the arms are a little off on the sword right here. Uh, because you saw an error earlier, so we'll talk about that in just a moment. But overall, we're making some progress here. So end the game. So if I go back to my project here, and in, I look at my uh, enemy skeleton and my character definition file, you'll notice that as far as teams go, team right here, we have it on index one. So it was on our team, so it wasn't attacking. If I want to attack it, I just change this to wildlife and creatures or put it on a separate team. And then of course there's the issue of the gun and the bones itself, um, or the, sorry, the, the sword and the bones itself. Uh, and I'm gonna show you, but I'm actually gonna show you how to fix this on a different character in just a moment here. Um, but basically you would go into your, your skeleton here and you would create some IK this time uh, for, and set some goals for the hands and things to match them up a little more closely. We're not gonna do it on this one, we're gonna do it on the other character we're about to do. So, so far, so good. All right, now for this part, we're gonna take another character and do it all from scratch, but this time from Mixamo, uh, which is free. So, I'm gonna scroll down. You can pick any of these characters you like. I'm gonna pick this goofy looking guy here. There we go, and I'm just gonna click download. 
T-Pose is fine, FBX. I don't want any of the animations. Okay, you're gonna see this FBX here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag it into our project, like so. Import all. And you're gonna see the skeletal mesh here, which we can just drag into the project, like so. And uh, while we're here, we can just fix the materials on the body. Go to the materials. Used with skeletal mesh, like so. Apply. And we'll do the same thing for all the other materials, is just enter used with skeletal mesh. You can just search for skeletal. Okay, and there's our happy little guy. Now we're gonna go through this process one more time just to reinforce it in your head. So first things first is we're gonna right click and go to animation, and we're gonna go to retargeting, IK rig. We'll call this IK, let's say boy. We don't need to make an IK for the one we already did for the mannequin, so that's good. So we're gonna click IK, and on here, we're gonna type in, I think his name is Ty. There's Ty, okay. And I'm gonna click Save, and then Auto Create Retarget Chains, like so. All right, and it, not it noticed it was Mixamo and did 100% accuracy, it says, so we're gonna save that. And now we're gonna create a retargeter, so animation, retargeting, IK retargeter. We're gonna say IK Manny to boy. And we'll find Manny. And we'll find the boy. And then we're going to look right here and you're gonna see that there's an error, okay? The error says the IK retargeter has a target bone chain left arm that references an IK goal. Well, you'll notice the arms are a little bit off and the boy's arms are a little bit longer than the mannequin's arms. And so what we need to do is actually set some IK goals, but we can do that automatically. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna map the fingers to the fingers, the hands to the hands. Uh, because right now, if I just play the game, right, the character's gonna run around and kind of almost be holding the gun, but not really because we have an error right here. So what I'm gonna do is close out of this, gonna go to the boy rig, like so, and where it says this button right here, auto create IK, I'm gonna click that. And you're gonna see that it added these bones here where the hands are. And these are kind of your, your goals where you can match bone to bone. So you can even do, you can add more for the fingers if you want as well too. You can click these, this little button over here and you can add goals to different aspects of the body. That way, when you go into the retargeter, uh, you, can match, you can match things up. And so I could also create goals for the mannequin rig, right here, IK Manny. I could also create IK goals for him. So that way the, the wrists match up and the feet match up a little bit better uh, when the animations are happening. So here we have our little guy here and we've done our IK uh, retargeting here. We've set some goals and look, you notice now the arms are matching up a little bit better. But you notice that um, you know, the fingers could probably match up. You could, you could really add some goals to the fingers to make them wrap around the weapons. You can add more of those if on both of the uh, rigs if you want it to match up more perfectly. We're not gonna do that here. We're just gonna keep it simple. But there we go, it's all mapped up here, which is great. Uh, usually it maps it up here automatically on the right-hand side. We can also click Auto Map Chains and you can do Exact or Fuzzy. I'm gonna do Fuzzy where it just kinda uses, you know, logic to, to find the same things. Uh, and there we go, save that there. Let's go ahead and create our blueprint, blueprint class, actor, and we're gonna call this, um, you know, boy BP. Open it up. We're gonna grab our boy skeletal mesh and then drag it on the, the root of the scene there, like so. Beautiful. Save. Close out of that. And then let's create our NPC definition. So right click and uh, artificial intelligence, NPC character definition, we're gonna call this NPC boy. And uh, we'll go ahead and make this uh, character type a guard. And then for the modifiers, uh, let's set the team to, instead of index one, let's set it to wildlife and creatures. And for cosmetics, what we wanna do is change to custom character. Character blueprint is going to be boy BP retarget, and we're gonna select the IK Manny to boy, like so. Okay, so there's our, our NPC character definition, and uh, let's give him a gun. I'm gonna click the plus, and we're gonna go to inventory modifier, 
inventory and uh you know let's give this person like a assault rifle of some kind uh sure like so that's good enough we'll save it and there we go and now we'll go into the devices and we'll search for npc and we'll put our npc spawner here i'm going to delete the boy click our npc change the character definition at the bottom right to our new boy and just for fun, let's make three enemies, like so. And I'm going to move it a little further out so I don't die right out of the gate. And then we're going to build it and see what happens. Push changes. Okay, well, here is the moment of truth. Let's play the game. Oh, there we go. And, yeah, the hands are not perfect, as you can see, but you could fix that with those goals. You could add more goals for the fingers. All right, and uh, that's it. We did it. We did it. Uh, we built some NPCs, custom characters. There's a lot more you can do with NPCs, but that is it for now. See you next time.